Hi and welcome to NET Vapor Reviews. Today is not a review as such. It's more like a mini tutorial. Um, I'll tell you why. Um, a local vape shop has arranged a question and answer evening and they asked me to attend. So I went down there and I don't have so much experience. It's just I've been vaping now for two years and I learned one or two things about the gear I have and how they operate and various liquids, various naturally extracted tobacco, various other types of liquids. So if, uh, out of that knowledge, I tried to help others, right? This is the whole idea of these reviews and uploads is to purely help other smokers to stop the way I did. The question that was coming up again and again was uh, practical things. Not what tank, what mod, what e-liquid, that also came up, but practical things. Like for instance, when do I know when to change a coil, a stock coil? When do I know when to re-wick on a rebuildable coil? Um, do I need to wait till I actually get a burnt flavor? Or sometimes if flavor has been reduced, should I change a the coil then? Um, and all these sort of questions. And also, why naturally extracted tobacco ruins, gonks up the coil quicker than fruit or dessert, even very, very sweet um, liquids. So what I decided um, to do is I will in a minute um, put that camera in a different angle and I will show you uh, for all those people who are asking those questions and you're going to watch this recording because I did tell them I'll, re I'll upload the review on this um, you will see the difference between a coil uh, vaped on naturally extracted tobacco for the last two days now, the flavor is already starting to become a bit not as the peak when you freshly wick. And then I'll show you a coil that I've been vaping on a dessert flavor. And you'll see the difference in the gunk on the coil. And also I will show you how do I clean my coils because a coil can last for well over a month a rebuildable because you can clean it and and look after it a stock coil is a bit more you're limited to the how much how long you vape on that coil if you vape on that coil for a day two days it will last a week it'll start depends today the new mesh coils are much more robust they will last you for at least a week 10 days even two weeks but if you vape on it, chain vape it all day long, sweet um, liquids, it will go faster. So the stock coil, you're more limited to what you can do, except for not vape it. But then the whole purpose is, is, is like, you understand, the whole purpose of the coil is to give you the flavor of the liquid to keep you off your cigarettes. So the only way that one can control a bit um, the flavor of your liquid and the prolonging the life of a coil is only rebuildables. And I suggested to them as quick as possible to start using rebuildables because, for instance, now what's going on with the Chinese, with the coronavirus, there is a shortage in shops. I spoke to a few shop owners in the area and they all said to me the same thing that they're running low on supplies because they're not getting it from the supplier who's getting it from china so what happens is that if will come if this doesn't um solve fast there will be a shortage in coils so people will have to go to rebuildables because wire you can get anywhere and and there's always you can buy pre-made coils because you can, it's locally made in England or in Europe, wherever you live. It's not shipped from China. The wire you can get anywhere. So the rebuildables is the way forward and the, the, the clever way of, of doing things is to get used to vaping on rebuildable 
tanks marched along, direct along, RDAs, RTAs, all that sort of style tanks. It doesn't mean that you can't have a stock. I have stock oil tanks as well. I've got very good. You can watch my reviews on, on my channel on very good uh, direct to long tanks that I use them quite often. But if something would have happened, I always have an RTA or a dripper RDA's quonking tank or my mouse to long RTA's. So, um, with that said, uh, let me first, I'll, I'll re angle the camera, I'll show you how I do it like this. You can see yourself what I do. I hopefully, hopefully, it won't take long. And then we'll come back and talk about it a bit more. Right, so here I've got my coil for the um, Prime, K from Prime. But in reality, this is every RTA um, that you're going to, RTA mouse to long that you're going to use for naturally extracted tobacco. Um, most naturally extracted tobacco is vaped on mouse to long. Right, I don't think anybody vapes direct along uh, tobacco. Maybe there is, but most, 99%, I assume, um, vape on mouse to long. So it doesn't have to be this tank or any other tank, it's the same idea. But you can see the gunk that's on it. Now, this coil I put in on the 12th of January. 20. So this is a month. I'm not sure when this is going to be uploaded, but this is ready. Um, now we are the 21st. So it's nearly six weeks since I changed the call. And how do I do it? Very simple. You see, when and here's um, the cotton from a direct along RDA and I don't use tobacco for this you can see the difference one is black and one is with the color of the juice so obviously naturally extracted tobacco um, no matter what company they are no matter who's the manufacturer they always cause the same gunking and the flavor um, starts to get stale so I change wick every two days every two days it doesn't take long I'll show you how it's done uh, how I do it and in the same time I clean the coil now look at this it's disgusting now thinking about this you're vaping okay it's darker because the liquid is darker but at the end of the day this is not it wouldn't deliver you the proper flavor especially the coil looking like this so what i did i do is like this this is a little glass full of water first of all i put in the coil shake it shake it in the water a bit then i take some kind of towel paper and just gently wipe off the, the, the liquid but what's the most crucial is what I'm doing now firing it and you can see it's burning off first of all the water I just dipped in and also the gunk and eventually you'll see it starts glowing red and then when it starts glowing red you dip it in again in the water now the smell I'm getting from this is burnt gunk do this again and then give it a blow now sometimes i do this again just for good measure and you obviously you do not press the fire button when you dip into the water yeah you that you press till it glows and then you press it put it in the water but uh, without pressing the fire anymore fire button now this should be the last time and you wait till the sizzling sound disappears
that's it. Now it's, it looks very good indeed. Now this is a six week old coil. Now I'm using a, a one point, a 1.17 ohm from Nature Vape. These are very good coils, they last you for ages. I do recommend from naturevape.co.uk. He's got a few options, 1 ohm, 1.17, 1 point, um, you have to check the website to see, but uh, they are very, very good coils. Okay, so now the coil is rejuvenated, so to speak, and this is a six week old coil. That's not bad for a six week old coil. Um, I'll just give it a second. Yeah, I think it's cooled enough. Now, when you put in the cotton, always remember, and this is for any type of RTA, mouth to lung or otherwise, but mouth to lung especially because it's a two and a half a millimeter coil, so it's quite small. So you want the cotton to have a bit of resistance, but not too much, not that you can't move it within the coil because otherwise you're choking the cotton in the coil. And if it's too loose, you're gonna have popping because the liquid between the coil and the cotton is, is bubbling away. Um, and you'll get a lot of popping and hissing. And Now I always cut it. Okay, this is ready. You have to do according to your tank. Always measure your cotton according to the size of your juice well. And then you give it a bit of a dent, cut it off and always fold it to see if it is right by the end of the juice flow. And then the second one is easier because you just cut it according to the first. Yep, yeah, that's it. And then you just fluff it up. Now this cotton is fairly thin, so I'm not bothering to cut it on the sides. You just tuck them in nicely. You should have a bit of space within the juice well for your tool to stick in. That will give you an idea if it's if you over if you're overdoing the cotton or not. So you can see I've got plenty of space. And this is this is not on this particular tank. Uh, every every RTA is more or less the same idea. Um, and you'll be surprised these most simplest things people do not know how to do. And once you got to do it once only once, and then you know how to do it perfect. Okay, so this is more or less done. I'll just put some liquid on it. This is a uh, naturally extracted tobacco. Um, I ha I've, I've done a review for this liquid, but I haven't uploaded it yet. So I'm not going to tell you what it is yet, but it's very good. Um, I don't tend to moisten it, over moisten it. Just give it a bit of a head start. If you over moisten, sometimes you get spit backs. Um, and then you just put back on your tank, assemble your tank, no matter what tank you've got. And fill up your juice. Give it a minute. That's full. And in this instant, I need to open the juice flow. But if you got another tank, give myself a vape. Um, if you got another tank, then there's no juice flow. You just give it a few minutes and you can vape on it. Okay, we'll talk a bit more in a second. Right, so we're back up top now. Um, and as you saw below, when I went through the coil, this is the freshly wicked coil, a uh, tank. 
and let me give the vape I vaped it before I changed the coil now the, the wick and now I'm try trying again and the flavor is the way it should superb you see when you if you want to save if you got a, a rebuildable um, as you saw the coil I put in on the 12th of January so it lasts me for, for weeks I mean six weeks now I don't know when you're gonna see this recording I'll try and upload it as soon as possible because I've got quite a lot of liquid reviews that um, still need to be uploaded but this I feel is an important issue uh, that people who are starting to vape or vapors already on a stock coil and want to change to rebuildable and they haven't got that it's, it's a simple knowledge it's just practice um, but nevertheless they don't have it and sometimes um, when when someone explains it to them for him it's simple and he explains it to them in his way and they, for them it's complicated what do I do what, what? So I decided, you know what, let me do a recording for this topic. And you can see how I done it. It's, it's very easy to do. Clean, dip, dip again, burn it off, dip again, then just put in your cotton and, 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 and fill up your tank. And cotton is cheap. Delicious flavor. It's a liquid I need to upload from Vesig liquid that I can give you. It's a naturally extracted tobacco. Superb. I, I didn't have the chance to upload it yet. I have to still finish it off. And anyways, but coming back to this topic, um, to change cotton is, is cotton is so cheap. Uh, you can buy on Amazon for a few pounds. You can buy fifty. Japanese moji pads that will last you for years right so you can afford to change cotton every day if you want and after once twice three times you get so used to it that it takes you literally a few minutes and also you save your coil because you don't let the gunk to build up too much you getting much better flavor and I'm sure health wise is for sure healthier when you've got fresh wick um, because after a while most probably bacteria builds up I don't know and that might affect the, the taste as well so I definitely recommend to change it as much as possible I know somebody who changes his wick every evening <laughs> every evening he changes his wick and he's a naturally extracted tobacco vapor as well so there is extremes to this way and I know people who are using a stock oil for three weeks and I asked him he was in that meeting I said to him don't you feel the taste is different he says to me yes but i'm trying to drag it out i said why why are you trying to drag it out would you smoke a cigarette that has been put in water and then you dry it in the sun to smoke it again would you why why would you do that um to save yourself what save yourself pennies it's a mindset of people to try and save as much as possible um, when it comes to these things and I can't see the reasoning but even if you do want to save money um, when it comes to re-wicking your RTA or your RDA that will last you longer than RDA because you saw that uh, the coil it was a much better nick than this one um, you it, it just takes it's just um, a few minutes to do okay I think I spoke about this issue um, in, in fairly detail now what I what, what, they, what they asked me to do as well uh, is to um, if anyone um, all my viewers have questions nothing to do with um, this review or that review questions general questions in, in relating to vaping um, you can leave them below and the next review I'll go through those questions and answer them in more detail because sometimes when I answer somebody in a comment it's very difficult to to do it um, thoroughly 
yeah, because it's a public uh, reply, and you want you can't type out a whole letter as a comment. So if you have any questions, um, anything to do with vaping, leave them below, and I'll try in the next review to answer a few of those questions that I see there's most um, important. Sorry about the jump cut. Um, I was told after I recorded this video, so I sent it to on WhatsApp to a few uh, those who were asking me those questions. And they said that if they were to ask these questions on a public platform, like a public comment on a YouTube record video, they'll feel awkward. So I decided to give you another option if you want to ask questions in regards of vaping um, and you'll need an answer or you would like an answer for it but not on a public platform you could email me at netvapor at gmail.com and if you can put in the email that you do not want to um, I should say your name and then I will just say someone asked me so and so and I'll give you the best answer I can on that in detail so if you could have either option either you leave the comment below or you send me an email either way if you need some advice uh, I'll be happy to help uh, and as best as I can and if I don't know the answer I will try and search for it okay I think that con this concludes this uh, video or it's not a review as such more of a, a guidance a tutorial type of thing um, hopefully um, I will be able to comment on all your questions in the next week or two um, and hopefully I'll have all the answers for you <laughs> if I don't I will say I don't know after, even after I tried searching for the answer I don't know then I'll say I don't know if anyone else could give us all of us a tip so like this we all learn from each other okay until the next review take care enjoy your vape bye bye for now